In this video, we are going to discuss two Python integer related problem. And first problem is how we are going to convert integer into date object. And second problem is how we are going to convert integer into character and vice versa. So let's start with our first problem. And for that purpose, we are going to import date time and time delta from the library date time. And uh, second, we will give a date object and assign it to, let's say this is a date with the year and uh, sorry, this is year and uh, second is a month and then we have a day and we will assign it to date object then for uh, we will take year month and day with the date object and with the help of slicing we will uh, assign the first four uh, character into year and the another second zero one into the month and third one zero one to the day so let's execute to both of the cell and get year month and day so we have extracted year month of day from the date object okay so here we have a type year so we have a type string and then we will going to pass these uh, year month and date into the date time object that we have imported earlier okay so here we are going to get type error integer is equal. so always uh, in date time will take uh, uh, input as integer only so if you pass a string then it will going to give you the error type error so let's convert each of each of the string object into a integer using int inbuilt functionality okay so, the same way. so let's run it again and it's integer and okay so we have got no error so let's print that what we got okay, so we have got the date type object so if you give type type as so let's print the type here by Okay, so it's going to give you the date time, date time object. Earlier it is in a string format, so now it's in a date time, date time format. You can also add our minute second in our date time. So by using, by increasing the input in the date time. So basically, date time will take input as year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and microsecond or millisecond also. So we, but in this video we are going to take only six input that is till from year to second so let's run it again this one and uh, let's print it to the date okay and uh, yes yeah, so we got the date time and if you use print here then you are going to see the date time along with the hour minute and second here okay so let's say you wanted to increase the date that is uh, month 0 1 and 0 1 days to 10 days and you will increase hour to 1 with so here you're going to 2 and minute will be going to 2 then for that purpose uh, we are going to use the time delta and uh, we are going to give input so time delta has a different type of input which consists of days hours minutes second microsecond but in this video we are going to take only we are going to use only three input days hours and minutes and uh, we want to increase the 10 days and one hours and one minute so we will going to add to that with the date time object date and assign back to the date you can also use another variable here instead of date so let's print that so here we are going to get the 2111 here yeah. so okay let's print it here okay so now we have increased the days here 11 and hours and time will also increase in the same manner you want if you want to decrease the date time then you can use the time minus here and minus use the time delta with the same functionality 
and to only instead of plus you can use minus here so it's going to be decreased the days from 11 to 6 let's say here and print the date here So here we have given the six. All right. So okay. So as we have seen that date object has a predefined format like uh, dash here slash here sorry dash here. But if you want and it started with the year, month, and day. But you want uh, you do not want that format. You want uh, that uh, your uh, date should be started with the month and then days and then year and uh, in the same way it is started with the hour and then minute m so if you then if uh, then you can use the strip time strip time is another functionality which convert the date time object according to your format or the format given inside that so this date time it will be converted back into that format using the strip time also instead of uh, uh, here you will not able to distinguish between hour and minute so we can use the slash here and uh, okay so with help of slash you can divide each of the date so also instead of uh, dash here you have uh, given the slash in the same way you can also add to here to slash hour and to here the minute and you can directly give here as semicolon and okay so in this manner you can change the date time object output with the help of strip time okay so let's move on to our another problem how we are going to convert integer into character and character into integer it's a very simple things we are going to use uh, a two inbuilt functionality of python that is chr and ord okay so chr take to the integer as the input and it will convert it into the their unicode base so let's run yeah so okay and as we all know 63 or 65 okay so we all know the integer 65 is represented as a in unicode and uh, so that's why so chr with the help of chr it will convert it back into their unicode format so it will always take in integer as the input but if you give a string here then it will going to give you the type error an integer is required and got the type string all right so here it will take always a integer okay so we have a string the same way here ord ord will be convert to the unicode number into their integer numbers so one two three or is the integer of this unicode digit so unicode character so type one two three four okay so here it's a uh, unicode characters and if you wanted to convert the unicode character back into the integer then you can use the ord functionality of inbuilt functionality of the python it will convert back into one two three four with this we are concluding both of the problems and if you have any more questions and queries regarding both of the problems then comment in comment section and uh, i will try to answer those queries please click on the like button if you like this uh, video and uh, please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching this video